motherfuckers wanna get famous. Bus gun. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Nana Master, and on today, we are here on my Earthland. If you guys took on this video, you guys know this is the level 99 hybrid build for the male earthlings and this is the build I honestly will say isn't like meant for like the most cheese and stuff like that. I know people hear earthlings and they're like oh they're they're super OP. I just like recently started using an earthling. This is my first time actually being on this character in like a very long time. I got on this character just to make this video. So you, you guys already know it's my boy Shari here finessing the young slayer. If I was in an anime, I honestly feel like this is something I would be wearing like every single day. I would utilize this sword and like slay enemies in every single way possible. You feel me? But on today, we gonna show you guys my stats with the male earth. And this is a level 99 build. It's level 99, if you guys do not know. If you're not level 99, I advise you to click on this video. But alright, let's we'll hop into it and show you guys my skill set. Sorry boys, we got Shining Slash, Galavine Cannon, Burning Slash, Android Hicks, Serious Bottom, Super Black Comet, we have Potential Unleashed, and Hyper Movement. I went for more of a like darker uh, skill set, you guys can kind of like tell I went for like a darker skill set because of like the purple and stuff like this. So I went for moves that honestly resembled like everything I was rocking. And since they don't have Trunks' it's like original sword, like the red sword in this video game, I got Tape on the sword, which is the... The next best thing, this sword is looking looking very saucy and stuff, but then you guys already know I got the purple edge on it, so I do like that about the sword. Look at my boy Shard. And I got I got some upcoming news coming up for you guys, and I'm a uh, I'm making a separate video on that one. I keep saying I'll make a separate video on that one, but sooner or later it will happen. You guys are gonna be like super shocked and like, why are you doing that? That's that's dumb. You put all this time in. It's dumb. I think you guys have gotten like foreshadowing what's gonna happen if you guys like hear the tone of my voice. But alright, boys, we'll talk about it later. Alright, uh, where are we at? We're we'll gonna show you guys my equipment. I have the training suit, turtle wall suit on, that's pretty dope. Time for a little some pants, uh, nothing on the hands. Latest fashion shoes, tape on a sword. And this is my QQ bang for this character. Like, this is another dude. These, this is a QQ bang you're gonna rock. This is a god tier QQ bang as well. Like, if you got four positives and only two negatives, I consider that to be a god QQ bang. Like, look at this. Look at his stats, bro. Those are some pretty damn solid stats. Like, dude, if his health wasn't negative, like, say his key blast supers were negative instead, or her strike supers were negative instead, and his health was positive. Bro, this would be a really, really solid damn build. And, dude, this is even better. Like, look at his stats. They look like fucking, like, Jehovah stats. Do you see that, bro? Like, these QQ bangs are nothing to play with. Now, this is another really good, uh, solid QQ bang, I would say. Uh, it's really negative for key blast and stuff like that. But this is a really good, like, strike super QQ bang if you guys want to rock something like that. I got a few on the Earthling that I don't have on my other characters and stuff like that. You guys don't know, if you have a QQ Bang equipped to one of your characters already and you try to use it on another character, it does not work. Or you cannot, you don't have access to it. Like, it'll show it, but you won't have access to it and stuff like that. Like, this one is pretty damn stupid. Like, I mean, that would be good if you don't want to transform or something like that. Or if you use, like, the Kyle Can, that would be a really good QQ Bang. But, nah, we, we not like like that. So, this is the QQ Bang I do rock. And I believe my Super Soul is now. It's my turn. You guys know this is Super 17 Super Soul. This is the Super Soul I use for all my characters because, uh... They made it uh, available in the TV Metal Shop for uh, for prices because I guess there was like a bug with the RNG so it would never drop in his parallel quest. But I got it originally out of his parallel quest. I think it's like parallel quest like 94 or something like that. It, it's Android 17's for Super 17's parallel quest. It's a GT parallel quest. So it says when a heavy smash hits, extends the time of guard break when the opponent is knocked off balance. So if you even like uh, without limitations match. Or like just playing against your friends stuff like that. And you get a stamina break off with this, and you got like very good stats. And like, dude, if it's one of those like heavy stamina breaks, like when the person has no stamina, you get off a light stamina break. That's like the equivalent to like a normal heavy stamina break. But if you get a heavy stamina break off, bro, dude, if you do that, whatever combo you're doing, you might as well kill the person. Like, if you stamina break someone using like a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, they're dead, bro. Like, and you got enough key, like, dude, they're dead. There's no coming back from that shit. They like, get that one stamina break that. That's GG, bro. No matter what they do, unless they pop in like capsules and like, or they got Zamasu, then they won't die. Cause you know he's fucking up. But anyways, boys, we gonna show you guys the stats and why you guys are here. All right, boys, this is my build I use for rank. These are the stats. And all right, boys, before you guys go criticizing, saying, "Oh my God, he has 125 in his basic attacks." Uh, cheese, uh, blah, blah, Earthlings, blah, blah, fuck off. That's all I'm gonna say right now. Just fuck off. That's this is what I'm saying, because the Earthlings were not meant for strikes, but for some reason in this game, that's like their best ability, because the Earthlings, I honestly, 
are like the the most balanced characters out of all of them in the game so they can do like the most and like they can be honestly really really deadly in like every category they have so i put it out and uh i tried to spread it out as good as i can so but 125 stamina because guys know i like to max stamina and stuff like that for very close matches and stuff like that so if i constantly get matched against like a hit a gogeta and then it'd be a fair fight because i got enough stamina to keep up with that person so we got 125 basic attacks you don't need 125 base attacks. I just chose to put a 125 base attacks because this is my try hard character. Like, this is the character I was honestly, like, sweating off for, like, a minute. Like, I had a dumb win-loss ratio at one point. I think it was, like, 118 and, like, 3 or something like that. Like, dude, I wasn't losing the characters. I lost two. My first L I took was the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. My second L was the hit. And my third L was to Gogeta. I know because those three Ls were, like, consecutively back to back to back. And I was wondering why I kept getting matched against God through characters. And then I looked at my record, like, I was like, dude, I got, like, 150 wins and I haven't lost yet. Like, dude, I wasn't spamming on Banishables or anything like that either. Like, I just play with the Earthlings, like, in a different way. Like, bro, you don't have to click X and Y or square and triangle to be really good with Earthling. Like, dude, that's not my playstyle with them. They're, like, just, dude, their X combo is really good. Their heavy combos are good. Like, they're, if you key cancel, they're really good for that, too, because they fight so freaking fast, bro. It's, like, honestly, when it comes to, like, aggression in characters... They're like the best, because it's like them or the Arcotians, aka the Freeza Race, for people that don't know what Arcotians mean. But these are my stats. I got, to, I got 25 health, because with a little bit of health, Earthlands, you can max out their health and have a green bar health. I have figured this out, because like I've seen people with green bars of health. And there are actually people that come into rank with like 125 in health, 125 in stamina, 125 in basic, and they don't have anything in this, but they do. They still like shred, because their stats are just like so good. Like That's a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku build. In all honesty, I want to know what you guys think about, like, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and, like, Gogeta and, like, Hit and characters like that. And what do you guys think about, like, the CAC scales? Should there be, like, more points available to, like, CAC and stuff like that? Because at 99, you have 375. 375. If you had 25 more points, bro, what would you do with those 25 points? Put that in the comment section below if you guys think that, like, that would be fair. Or have, like, 425 or something like that. Because, dude, if we could get stats like that... I know it'd be like over the top and stuff like that for CSCs. Then CSCs would honestly be overpowered. I don't want to use caskers and stuff like that. Like, bro, if we had like 400 points or 425 points, I think we could honestly be up to par with these god tier characters because, like, dude, you can't have everything in this game. Like, no matter how much cheese or how much everyone to put into the game, you, and nine times out of ten, if you're playing against a really skilled Goku player and you have like a male saying and you're really good. That Goku player is going to win just because of the fact that it's Goku. He can literally do. He has almost perfect stats. He has six bars of key. He has a green. Like, his health is tremendous. His stamina is maxed out. His basic attacks. He, I'm pretty sure they're not maxed out. And if they're not on his third preset the, that came with DLC Pack 4, his basic attacks are maxed out. Because he, gets an, he takes a decrease in health, but his basic attacks are, like, tremendously high. So, I don't understand why they keep buffing, like, the most OP characters in the game. And, like, Vegeta, his blue preset should have, like, stamina, that, or his stats should honestly look like this. For, like, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta with the second preset, the arm preset, that's my honest opinion. Because he was working Rose Goku Black in the anime, his stamina was, like, off the charts when he was going head up with the man. And he even smacked him through, like, a building and just, like, erupted with a key and stuff like that. And Goku Black was wondering what the hell happened to him and stuff. And while Vegeta got so strong, but alright, bros, let me show you guys my skills one more time. We got Shining Slash, Galaxy Cannon, Burning Slash, Android Kick, Series Bomb, Super Black Comic Out. I use this build a lot sometimes. This isn't my my go-to build. My go-to build for like most of my characters. I honestly make the same build for all my characters. This is my go-to build right here. Uh is maybe about just about the same because uh, moves. We got Android Kick, Galaxy Cannon, Sledgehammer, Rise Action, Meteor Burst, Super Black Comic Out, Potential Leash, and Hybrid Movement. Okay. Let me explain some right here. Rise to action. This move is very clutch. Like, if you spam this move, it's considered cheese because you're getting your stamina back and stuff like that. I don't knock people away and get my stamina back. Like, that's honestly cheese to me. Only time I will use this move if I'm going against, like, a very timid, like, hit player or Gogeta player or, like, a Goku player. I know I name these three characters all the time because these are, like, the only characters I honestly run into in rank nowadays. Like, dude, there'll be somebody with, like, a thousand BP using hit. Or like 200 BP using Goku or 0 BP using Gogeta. Like they they pick the best of the best characters to try to win games. Because 
These kids, those characters take no skill. Okay, mastering their combos, or mastering Gogeta's combos can be kind of uh, confused because it's like X, Y, 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 X, or something like that. And then you gotta to knock to knock them back and forth, back and forth, like that. But Goku and Hit, they are the easiest characters in the game to use. And if you guys, like, dude, whoever says those characters take skill to use, needs to like, like, bro, get get out, get out. Let's just just stop. It takes skill to use Tien. It takes skill to use Broly. It takes skill to use Perfect Cell. It takes skill to use Teen Go On. It takes skill to use fucking uh, shit Krillin. It takes skill to use those characters. Goku is a starter pack character. Vegito is a, Vegito Blue is a starter pack character. Um, Hit is a starter pack character. Gogeta is an all star character. He is the best character in the game by far, bro. It, like honestly, his health out of off the roof. He has five bars of key. He has like the most OP three hit combo in the game, dude. And Jesus Christ, I don't even want to start about just the man's basic combos and hit. You guys know how it goes. That's hit right there. Literally X X X X X and that's hit. All right, boys. I'm put my stats on the screen one more time for you guys. I was kind of ranting a little bit. Well, we got 25 in health, 0 on key, 125 in stamina, 125 in base attacks, 25 in strike supers, and 75 in key mass supers. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. It's been my pleasure to hold me now that master. I got some big news coming up in the next month or so for you guys. I'm not sh really sure about my decision when it comes to that. I will be making more videos. I hope you guys have been enjoying these build videos. Uh, a lot of people show a lot of support on the mail saying video. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out. I will honestly put the build videos in the description. If you haven't checked out the Freezer Race build video, go put that, uh... Go watch that. I will be making a Super Namekian God build soon once I figure out like what's really good for him because I know their best stat is health. So you don't need to max out their health. But in all honesty, if you don't max out the health, it's not really a Super Namekian God because like their best stat is their health. So, you know what I'm saying? But alright boys, hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Pleasure. Me and the homie Shari are here. He will become another race. Yes, I've foreshadowed this and I've handed at this. I have eight characters. And when the rank video comes out with me playing with each and every single character, it, he'll, they'll, most of these characters will be gone. There will be a few select level 99s. I'm keeping, I have said this, I put it on my Snapchat and everything. Kai, mm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly, I might delete Kai. There are reasons why. I would explain that in future videos. But alright, boys, I guess uh, Hikaru Jr. is here. He kind of looks like Deodor. If you guys know who C-Rex's character is, he kind of looks like Deodor, if you guys look at his face. Just a little bit. Alright, boys, we're going to fly off and fight Broly real quick. Then we're going to call it a video. Play, we're going we're gonna, to uh, intercept the Legendary Super Saiyan, because I thought I did this already, but I guess not. So we're going to fight Broly real quick for you guys and show off the sheer power of this preset, like C-Rex would say. That, that, that power. Bro, Xen Xenoverse 2, the Xenoverse 2 community, like the Dragon Ball community, is honestly one of the best communities. But there are some people in this game that, like, exploit so much crap. But, like, with these Earthlings, alright, boys, this, this is a cast. This is, this, is, this, like, is a CAC. I mean, a calm. This is cheese. This takes no skill. If you honestly play like that, like, you're bad. Okay, you can do this combo, like, Every once in a while, but dude, if you're just sitting there like chaining this non-stop, it, it's honestly annoying because dude, it's the easiest thing in the world. You can chain it into almost everything, and then that's game. Bro, that's game. Like they're dead. They up out of there. But there's no coming back. And literally, that's all you have to do. Don't be that person that does that. I made this Earthling character to get back at the Xenoverse Super Media. I got tired of the cheese, so I got over 60k and I just started punishing people that were abusing their Earthlings. I wasn't spamming on Vanishables to beat them. I was playing fair and square. You know what they send me? People send me messages and be like, oh, it's about damn time I got a good fight. Before the fight even started, I've never played these people in my life. I guess they just know they've never seen my YouTube videos or something like that. But I hope you all have enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It's me and the homie Shari. We're going to see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. It's been a long time, and this here's been a long round, so I gotta go with Slodgy, the one nobody would vouch for. How's that shit for an outro?